Hey everybody, Corey Snyder here at CY Learning. I just wanted to check in with everybody today because I just got off the phone with a student who's studying Wealth Management Essentials uh, through one of our corporate clients. And he was frankly intimidated by just the idea of financial math and working with a financial calculator. Um, the conversation with him took about 15 minutes and by the end of it, I was able to get his head around how simple financial math really is because you don't really have to do much work. It's the calculator that does all the heavy lifting. You just have to learn how to pull those variables out of the question. So I was able to help him. I think I can help you too. Um, let's take a look at the question that we were actually talking through together. So you can see it on the screen here. Uh, Jessup needs $40,000 in 15 years to retire a business loan. How much would he have to invest today at 8% to generate an amount, uh, this amount in the future? So again, all the information, believe it or not, is there. We have everything that we need. So again, the idea is let's pull out what we can pull out. Um, we have to make a couple of, of general assumptions, which apply to almost every financial math question. And the variable that we don't have is typically the one that we're being asked to calculate. So let's just work with my little notepad here on a real exam. I would write these variables out and, and kind of extract the information. But great news, you don't have to memorize those guys. They're right there on your calculator for you. N is the number of periods. IYR is the interest rate or yield or return. Uh, PV is the present value. PMT is the payment. That's money going into or out of the account. And FV is the future value. So let's just see what we can find in the scenario. So we see that Jessup needs $40,000 in 15 years. So 15 is our N. And our future value, this is the money he needs in 15 years, is $40,000. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, he wants to retire a business loan, that's relevant. How much would he have to invest today? So it sounds like we're being asked for the present value at 8%, there's our IYR, uh, to generate this amount in the future. So there's two things we're missing. We're missing present value and payment. There's no mention of money going into the account or coming out of the account, so zero is going to be our payment. And our present value, that's gonna be a question mark, okay? So now really we have, it just let the calculator do its thing. So let's go over to our calculator here. Where are you? Here we go. Let's just make sure it's cleared out. One payment per year, that's the default. There's no mention of A, any payments and, and B, there's no mention of um, what that frequency would be if there were. So it's just one payment per year, that's the default. I'll show that to you again. 1P underscore YR, one payment per year. So let's pump the numbers in. 15 is N, eight is IYR, present value. That's what we're calculating. Our payment is zero. And our future value is $40,000. There we go. All right, moment of truth. What's our present value? $12,609.67 rounded. Do we see that answer? We sure do. There it is. Let's submit that. All right, we got it right. So there you go. It's that simple. We didn't even really have a lot of thinking to do. It was just read the language, find those variables, pump them into the calculator, and we got the right mark. And this is a mark that a lot of folks would find really, really challenging. I talked through that. I don't know what our video length is here, maybe three minutes. We're going to be able to do it in... in 30 seconds once you figure out uh, and practice this process. One thing I wanna to bring to your attention just before we go is this minus sign. So this minus sign, um, what that means is it's a cash outflow. That's money that, that Jessup has to take out of his pocket in order to fund this, uh, this savings program that he has going on. Of course, that $40,000, that's money he'll put back into his pocket in 15 years so he can, he can pay his business loan. Guys, I hope this helped uh, keep up the great work and good luck on your exams.